Hi, so in this video here, I'm going to do Creatures of L.A. And how does it relate to the state of the black parent? Every reality show has some relation to the state of the black parent because it is a state of, you know, the black parents that are that way, you know. And it's all, you know, communication, socialization, the education received, the economics, and the enterprise business-wise. Uh, so preachers of LA, you know, that's the state of that black parent is the the Christian, the religious family, those that attend church, those that have been raised in the church, such as myself. Um, so preachers of LA, I'm gonna cover season one, uh, episode one, what I've seen, and I am behind on shows so for real. You know, everything with the Ferguson, Mike Brown, um. The Eric Garner, you know, and then still plan on updating about State of the Black Parents um, behind the scenes. So that is to be out for next weekend. Uh, before, by Labor Day, let's say that. <laughs> uh, so, season one, uh, you know, they had Clarence McClendon, of course he's known, Tia Tamara, uh, Mattel Jordan, they used to attend his church back when he become you know, was becoming famous and stuff like that on T V N. Uh Dietrich had he's been known, he's from Detroit. He's um, you know, done production and stuff with, you know, Twinkie Clark and he has several albums on the uh Todd Scott R C A label. I know they're in the same living room, whatever the com connection or whatever with them today. Not gonna be exact on it or make a big dealio with it. Um, but I know it was Todd Scott R C A that he was on something like that. And so he's been out for at least about three decades, about that, you know. Uh, his, I, my favorite song by him is Heaven Knows. Um, they have Noelle Jones. I uh, was in a film as an extra, so it's hard to end. You'll see me. They changed the color of my shirt. All that. Um, that was filmed in Louisiana. Uh, so, you know, Noelle Jones, I've been knowing him, you know, three decades also. Uh, the next one, the the Ray, the skateboard guy, I don't know him. I saw the show, um, you know, um, I, I, I don't know him, so he's a new intro and white chain, that's a new intro also. Um, the Gibson Man, we're going to say that for another day, I ain't going to, I ain't going to, it ain't going to be me. Uh, but, you know, I, I feel he come with, 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 with you know, he's, Sincere at the religion that you know that he believes in and so forth like that. Um, his wife looks like Candace Staten. You ever thought of that? <laughs> so let me get on about the special and, and the actual scenes and, and headline type. Of course, you know the most interesting would draw you to the show. Of course, is Dietrich and Dominique. They, they, that's just the whole thing um, with the whole gospel industry thing. Like, oh my goodness, I was caught by surprise. I seen somebody write up an article about, um, you know, about Isaac Carey, and that's how I caught on to this whole little thing here, because, of course, you know, I was late in afternoon mm -hmm. news and, and then trying to get my own stuff together, you know. I ain't no teenager. I could keep up with that stuff when I was bored and never I could get to it. Uh, but the whole thing with Dietrich Haddon, he had this wife that, um, no, 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 he had a wife, Demita. She's also a singer. They did a lot of stuff together, and it was rumored for, like, a decade, I know for sure, that they was having, you know, they, they was getting through in the public scene, but behind the scenes they was, you know, supposedly he was unhappy. Whatever the reason to that be, and uh, I heard an interview that she had with Path Magazine where she said that he got there and said he was leaving her right after her mother was buried. Uh, that interview with Path Magazine, it was, it was interesting because she didn't say nothing about it for a long time. Of course, people was waiting for something to be said and a response about, you know, with Isaac Carey and stuff like that. Most likely that would never be covered on here um, because, you know, due to litigation and all that kind of stuff like that. So I guess they just don't keep it focused within the realm that it can be. Um, so, you know, it's still going to be interesting. I, I like that, um... I only know, like, the, the scripture side of the media. So, you know, she's a beautiful person. The new wife he has, she, she's beautiful. Um, but, I, you know, of course, we, you know, you know the uh, new the, the new wife more, you know, more so because she has the children. And, you know, I, I like that she don't be acting absent on social stuff be happening. You know, some social be happening. Like, it could be a big flitter somewhere, and they don't have no comment about nothing. 
And you know, she got two children back to back, so they definitely need to be active on everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to discuss that. Y'all tune in Monday. Y'all going to hear me talk about some people. Um, so, from there, I have somebody I want to play with the camera. Leave that long and let me finish my, finish my procession. Why don't you go there and, and go right? Uh, so, uh, let me go, you know, this whole thing, you know, he had the first baby out of wedlock, like, and then she was saying, you know, whenever her mother got buried, I believe it was in mid or late spring, and, you know, Dominique was to have his baby for December, and so, so he, she, you know, Demita said she didn't know her, you know, it wasn't like somebody that was, you know, they was familiar with each other, so forth like that. Whew, but this here is something, you know, Dietrich, he kept that house in California. I remember uh, one of the interviews, if you look on YouTube, where Demita and uh, his ex-wife was supposed to be doing a movie. And I know Dietrich has done two movies. What's the name? I don't know. But I know Kiara and Karen Clark is in one of them. Um, and, and, you know, new wife moving, it moved up in the house that the former wife was staying in, a kind of staying in, whatever the real story behind that is. Uh, you know, so he had one child. He could see that way like then. He got married before having a, the wedding on TV and stuff like that. You know, that was by, um, what's his name, uh, Ray, and stuff like that. And, and, and it was pregnant, you know, uh, again, supposedly before time. You know, and then on the man cave thing, they up there, uh, you know, disputing about, you know, fornication and him having a baby by the way. Like, Dietrich, uh, I'll tell you, Dietrich could wear some crooked clothes for, for real. But, you know, that's his style, but... That's him. He 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 is an argument. He is an argument person, like an argument short, um, type person. You know, he do have some good songs like Heaven Knows, Seven Days. I had several of his albums, um, and, and you know, he used to have good albums, even though he had, he didn't make it up to that top status. Um, everybody ain't gonna make it up to the top, so you know, it just ain't gonna happen. But that don't mean he's not a good artist. But he has several albums, um. You know, don't don't ask me too detailed with with, with DJ because that is too much trigonometry to be whether you all gay with him or all nay with him. That just too much trigonometry to explain. So you know, I know I'm gonna have to do a second video of other of, of, of the main stuff happening, but y'all already know DJ ain't gonna take up most of this video here and his wife, and they had the second baby named Denver Denver Monroe. What's that her name? I forgot. I know one of them they was saying something about green. Uh, or, or or something like that. Um, also, in one of the, um, you know, they was talking about shacking up and stuff like that. You know, Dietrich is very contemporary. Okay, let me say that. Even though I won't get into detail breakdown by trigonometry and, and so forth like that, but the main thing is he taking care of his child. Now, whether he could have stayed with his wife and take care of the child, I don't know how that would have worked out because, you know, from the background, in the back of the trees, from, mm, you know, it, it, it was just bound to happen. He just was, you know, and, and, and like, he also got in for the comment on one of his social media, I believe it was Twitter, I, that's why I know he's most active at, uh, that, you know, about he have a wife that could have babies. He said something in that reference. That's not the exact word, no, but that's the impression I got after I read it. And stuff like that. Um, Demita was, you know, had several miscarriages and so forth. And that do cause men to get disappointed and drained and, you know, feel that they disenfranchised. And so, you know, people go where they benefits or and, and so forth like that. But, you know, if you can't respect a woman in, you know, it says, it, it, what it says for, 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 uh, for, for weakness of health and, and the vows and stuff like that. You know, you just got so many people they want to be comfortable. They want for what's their name brand. Uh, somebody bringing me a toothbrush. Mm -hmm. my, my, this is very much insulting. <laughs> Bring me a toothbrush. No. No, no. Get back. Get back. And, and why did you climb up there to get the toothbrush? No, go put the toothbrush back. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Th that's rude. <laughs> no, because... <laughs> No, you brushing your teeth, so why you worry about me? No. Here. <laughs> no, that, that's not nice. My breath don't stink, okay? 
My breath don't stink. I just had apples. And my breath don't stink. <laughs> That's not nice. Bye. But I'm going to have to do this part too here because somebody's being very rude to me. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I don't need to brush my teeth. No, I don't need to. I brushed my teeth this morning. I brushed my teeth after I ate. With the same toothpaste you offer me. And you, you, you don't go get nobody's toothbrush and put toothpaste on it. No, that, that's not nice. You're supposed to worry about your own teeth, not mine. No. No, that, that's not cool. No, that's, that's, that's not cool. I got my time running out on here. I'm trying to talk about this video here. I'm going to be back. Y'all tune in for part two while we finish discussing what happened through the season. Uh, my teeth will be brushed by then, which they already brushed. I just ate some apples, so I don't know they must feel, you know, you tell children you brush your teeth back in and then they just can start taking everything extra to the limit. Um, so y'all tune in for part two. <sighs> yeah, I know Dietrich did make the headline topic of this, it took up the whole first season, but I will continue to speak on it. <laughs> no. 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 No, no. Let me see. You don't interrupt me while I'm doing my doing what I'm doing. It's very rude. But I am gonna come back and speak about preachers of LA. Mm -hmm. Season one, season two, mm -hmm. episode one. I will be back mm -hmm. in a few.